Hey there, Slavis here, back with another episode of Onimusha Warlords. We are just about to enter the castle, the keep, I believe. We got this weird blue orb glowy pulsating thing here. So we have our Thunder Sword now, which allows us to open that. What's this? Crystal is fitted in the center and there seems to be a thunder inside the crystal. There we go. That door is now unlocked. And let's go ahead and unlock it the other side. So now we can return if we need to. And I see some dudes up ahead. Oh no, more dudes. They look like crocodiles. doing too bad at this. I feel like. Maybe I'm... I mean, I'm not the best. I'll, I'll wait for him. Give him a fair chance. Come on. Come on, buddy. Okay. I said fair chance. You just deserve a kick in the face. You too. And now I will stab you. Oh no. He's gonna get me. Okay, he's gonna miss. Twice. Three times. You were the one I told you could have a fair chance. I think these guys are infinite and then I should just move on. But I see a chest here. Ooh. Okay, let's get that chest and then we'll move on through the door there. South area map. Let's have a little look at that. Slightly larger than the previous areas. So this should be good. Uh, let's check out this door over here first. Doors closed tightly and will not open. Maybe it's barred. Okay. Is there a door on this side? No. What is that? Alright, let's try our new thunder attack against him. He's back, but no big deal. Okay, were there any other guys in here? Ooh. Alright, let's let's move on. I kinda wanna gather as many souls as I can to make the game not super annoying or difficult, but I don't want to sit in the same spot forever. Is that a guy? Get off him. Poor guy, I'll save you. Yes, rest easy. Oh, he gave me an herb. Giant monster took Princess Yuki and went down under the dry moat. Under the dry moat. 
blocked, marked by red ink. Okay. You can see a dry moat. Did the monster come from the bottom of the moat? You need to. You need equipment to descend. Descend. We have a rope ladder that we acquired in the last episode. There we go. That's what we needed. Yes. Let's head down the dry moat. Is there anything here besides the door? Negative. Ooh, chest. Which is the equipment that was created by the clan of ogres in order to destroy the demons? I don't think we have that one yet. Got the medicine. Here's a red orb. Crystal is fitted in the center. You can see raging flames in it. We're just gonna have to get the next uh, next orb in order to open that up. Let's see if we can upgrade our sword. Nope, not quite. All right. Oh, I should have saved. Huh? Definitely should have saved. Didn't know humans could be such pests. <laughs> Where is the princess? Tasty when angry, and I haven't eaten in a while. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I should find out if I can block his attacks. Okay, I can. Good. Okay. Well, let's see if we can get around him. I hit him in the back a couple times, and he just got mad. Damn it! That hurt. against him. Pretty cheaply. That was easy. How could I die? By the hand of a human! Be quiet, monster. It is time for you to go back to the underworld. Yay! We killed him. Weren't there souls on this side, though? Maybe they disappeared. Darn. And there's the door, which is broken. Journal number two. I'm a sad, pathetic coward, weak and unworthy of the priesthood. My master was seriously injured during the battle against the demons. I could not do anything. I could not save my master. He asked me to bring his wounded body to the entrance of the cave. Then he began to perform his final ceremonial rites. He made up his mind to offer his life and die there as a human sacrifice. With his remaining powers, he is trying to sacrifice himself and set up barriers of, at the entrance of the cave so that the demons cannot get out. My master gave me a document and a jewel, and then ordered me to leave the cave. That was the most embarrassing moment in my life. I felt relieved to know that I could come out of the cave. I was too happy to be leaving to be worried about my master. I could only think of myself. Afterwards, I hid the document and the jewel, and I came back to my master's place of sacrifice. I will never have willpower like that of my master. All I can do is learn as much as a, as much as testament of my findings. Siamu. Siamu. 
Hmm. Hey, fluorite. Well, this is ominous. <laughs> Sweet, beautiful, lovely, the dripping blood, and mm, what's this? Oh, a liver. <laughs> mm? What's that smell? Who's there? A human? How disappointing. Face me, demon! Who do you think you are talking to? I haven't seen one as foolish as you since that, uh, Nobunaga. Nobunaga? <laughs> I operated on and resurrected that pitiful Nobunaga after he was killed in Okihazuma. He then made a pact with the demons and pledged his eternal loyalty to serve us forever as our slave. No! Oh, yes, it is indeed true. Now, let me show you my most recent creation. <laughs> Go, Renato! Fight the belly of that maggot and feast upon his bloody flesh! <laughs> Renato. So be it. Don't seem too tough. Okay, long range. Okay, long range. Okay, close range. Soul. That's gone. Jerks. Ace lightning. Okay, so he could only split a couple times. Which is fine. There's a big stone board. There appears to be some letters inscribed on it. However, you can't read it. Fire orb. Nice. New weapon. Okay. So now, let me just check and make sure there's nothing else here. Many weird instruments, but their use is unknown. Okay, yeah, nothing else here. Let's head back. And I bet there's an ambush. Oh yeah. Try our new fire attack. Incinerated. Not bad at all. Oh no! Uh... Okay, so they eat souls. Nice. Okay. Very efficient. So that demon must not have been actually dead when we defeated him. Anyways, let's open the door on both sides. Just so we know if we've been in there or not. 
And then, let's enhance. Um, I'm not a big fan of this sword. It's slower. So I'm going to enhance the Thunder Sword and watch the picture change. Upgrades to the next version of it. And then I think I'm going to save my points. We'll head and we'll go back to using the Rhizon. There we go. Level 2 Thunder Sword. Ambushing the wrong person. Did you guys just see I upgraded my weapon? Come on. Like those souls, thank you. Oh, he must have tried to attack me right away. Same thing with that guy, I guess. I just did a murdering strike on them. Now we'll head into this door. Um, yeah, we have to change weapons every time. That's one of the annoying parts. And there's no quick switch. Why well, there, big guy? He's not too bad. Alright, what do we have here? Check out the first door we have access to. Hmm. We have to upgrade our orb be at the level 2 now, to, in order to open that door. So we'll have to make that a priority. Let's actually go ahead and upgrade that uh, Thunder Orb to level 2 right now. There we go. And uh, let's upgrade the Fire Orb to level 2 if we can. Just so we can open any level 2 doors right away. Without having to worry about that. And then let's just save the rest of our points. Strange man is silently staring at you. Will you come back to me? No. Okay. A little odd.
Now let's go open that level two door. And there we go. Perfect. Thing over here. Negative. Whoa. Oh. Ow. I don't love these automatic camera angles. Think there was anything else in here. Book. Blue book. What an incredible animal this Nobunaga is. Normal animals would have surely been dead for sure with such a large transfusion of demon blood. Do not understand how the holy blood of the demons could be compatible with the body of a pathetic animal. It's very annoying. Moreover, this Nobunaga is highly intelligent and ambitious. He wasn't the slightest bit surprised when we resurrected his body. He pledged loyalty to Master Hortenbras without showing any fear, and he just made a contract to sacrifice his own species. He is an animal that should not be underestimated. Anyway, if Nobunaga keeps offering sacrifices, we will not run out of guinea pigs for our experiments. That must be that weird crab-headed guy. You can see the lightning inside the crystal. Flame is flickering in the crystal. And then we'll need a third weapon. Swirling Twister. Cool. That must be, like, part of the end of the game. Or, like, the final dungeon part. Let's go. I'm gonna save really quick. Okay. Let's see if that weird guy is over here too. He is. Hello, weird guy. It is better to leave this person alone right now. Fair enough. Let's check um, enhancing some stuff. Yeah. Well, I'll save the points for now. We'll move on. Stop! Let me go! Quiet! What is going on here? Stop! Huh? Who are you? And what do you want with that boy? I should ask you the same thing. You are not working for Saito Clan, are you? Wait. Can you be Samanosuke Akechi? Yes, you are. I cannot believe you are here of all places. I am a servant of the Oda Clan. My name is Tokichiro Ginoshita. This man will eventually conquer the world under the name Hideyoshi Toyotomi. What is a servant of the Oda Clan doing here? Wait. First, we must talk business. Tell me, Samonusuke, are you interested in serving our clan? My lord Nobunaga Oda would welcome a great samurai like yourself. I serve no one. My life is mine and mine alone to command. <laughs> I see. However, I will not give up yet. We shall meet again. <laughs> the guy kept touching me. Don't like that. Anyways, we got normal arrows. 
and we have a split here. Let's take a look at our map. See which path is which. The way forward through the red door looks like the main way, and this leads to a dead end, so let's go through here first. Journal 3. I am starving. I wonder how many days passed since I entered this cave. My only source of sustenance has been some water leaking out of the wall. I followed the smell of blood and came here. Normally I would not have been able to smell it, but hunger seems to have sharpened my senses. That is why I am now watching something I could not have imagined even in my worst nightmares. Ah, what a sight. Demons are eating human prisoners alive. They pay no attention to their victim's screams, they just crunch the bones and chew up the flesh. I'm standing still, just watching the scene, so as not to be spotted by the demons. No, that is not exactly what I have in mind. I'm watching a person's finger laying on the ground. When a person dies, its, its body becomes only meat. Ah, I'm afraid of what, to th what I'm thinking about. I'm like a wild scavenger that waits expectantly for, f for the scraps of food that a tiger leaves behind. What an evil desire I am having. Uh, poor guy. Armor doesn't help to block their attack. I tried to counterattack. Did not work. Okay. Alright, I think that's gonna have to do it for this episode. In the next episode, we'll move on and hopefully find Princess Yuki, maybe? So anyways, thank you for watching and hope you join me in the next episode. See ya.